Hi everybody, welcome to Vlogmas 2023. I'm just going to show you around TK Maxx and show you what they've got in the shelves at the moment and then I'm going to show you after that what I bought this year. Now I just got a couple of items, I could have gone crazy because they've got loads of nice stuff there as you've probably seen yourselves but because due to the cost of living crisis um, cost of living is just very costly isn't it? So I just treated myself to a couple of little things. I've got five big like boxes that we bought out of the garage of Christmas stuff. I didn't realise I had so much stuff to be honest. Um and I haven't decorated even though we're you know into December. So that video will be coming up so don't forget to stay tuned for that. So let's have a look on the shelves in TK Maxx and then we'll do the haul. We had loads of these little like dolls. Um I think these are really cute. I like this one. I wish I kind of got her because she's she looks just a little bit unusual. There's lots of these ones that are like um, animal fairies, which I think are really cute. This one's cute. I'm not sure if it's a mouse or or what. That one's supposed to be that little snowman is super cute, but there's lots, there's lots of them, and I could have gone mad. These are my favourite. Isabel got me this hot cocoa one last year, and um, but I think all of these are cute, especially the snowman and the Father Christmas there and the Christmas tree. That that. Yeah, I kind of wished I'd picked those up, but as you'll see in the haul, I didn't get any of those. They have loads of cups. Look at this little cat one with reindeer. I had to really restrain myself, and I like the pink Christmas trees as well. More with cats. There's quite a lot of cats and dogs on if you're into pets. But yeah, you could go mad, couldn't you, buying loads of Christmas cups? The first item I got was probably the maybe the most expensive item and um, this was I think it was £20, 19.99 but I really liked it. I do love a Christmas house. I think this is supposed to be like a pastel coloured gingerbread house and it is so cute. It's got a father Christmas and if you can sort of see on the side of him he does look like he's made out of gingerbread and these are definitely gingerbread biscuit trees and it's just such a gorgeous piece. It's like it's got glitter which I'm always not the biggest fan of but it's just so cute and I really liked it when I saw it so I got it we can test it I'm gonna get some batteries for it hang on turn that off and you can just about see the lights there so it does light up it's really cute um it's got um detailing on the back as well So yeah, I thought that was a really cute piece um, and I've got quite a few festive houses so I think it will go nicely with that um, and I saw quite a few different variations of these. They seem to have loads of Christmas houses in TK Maxx this year but this was the one I liked um, and I think it's uh, just the colours. I do love pastel stuff for Christmas and Halloween and any other season really. So yeah, what do you think of that? I think it might be my favourite item of the video. Comment down below. And then just looking in my bag, um, I picked up this. I thought this sort of went with the theme because it's pink, pastel pink. And I got myself a new Christmas mug. It's super big, this one. Um, it was 4 .99 and it's a New York um, skyline. Um, you can see the bridge there. And that's the best part of the taxi and the Christmas tree on the top. Statue of Liberty there, just the outline. And then there's another, um, the same scene really, isn't it, I think? Yeah, it's the same scene repeated round uh, the New York skyline. So I thought that was a really cute cup. And if you like big cups, it is a, a hefty one. This is the only Christmas cup I believe I've bought so far this year, which is a bit of a shock horror but I'm sure I have some tucked away somewhere um, and if not, I'll probably have to go out and buy one. I just noticed there's actually like little people in that taxi cab there um, and it does say Merry Christmas as well. So that is really nice. It gives me like Home Alone, Lost in New York vibes. <laughs> And then I picked myself up some of these because these are my favourite mitten, well, oven mittens, if you want to call them that, or oven gloves. Um, and I really like these ones. I've got them for Halloween. I've had them for Halloween for the last two years of a different 
Peanuts design and this year they did them um, with the Christmas. I don't think I've ever seen the Christmas ones before. Um, it's got like a nice um, plaid design there and it's got Charlie Brown and Snoopy with their winter warmers on there and it says warm wishes and I really like these because they've got like this um, like silicone style if you can hear all that clattering it's Minnie bringing her toy in she likes to drag her toys around the house I think she's got it stuck on something um, they're really good because their individual gloves are really good for grabbing dishes and this never seems to burn your hands so I do recommend them these are 6 99 but I think they're worth it they last a while um, even with like you know daily use of getting stuff out of hot ovens so yeah a two pack of mini oven gloves or oven mitts they call them my other favorite item I'm going to say it about everything um, I don't know why I bought this really <laughs> It's not an electric kettle, it's just a traditional kettle that you put on the stove to boil water, like a tea kettle. Um, we don't tend to use these over here anymore, but I, I know they do use them in America quite often still. We tend to use an electric kettle on the coffee machine. Um, and this is a Critter, Critter tea kettle. Um, it's by the company... I think it's supposed to be Brooklyn Steel Company, maybe. Um, yeah, um, it says it's 2.5 litres. It is quite hef you know, quite a big size. This comes off so you can fill it with hot water. And um, that's your little spout there to pour out. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I might test it out to see if it whistles. I don't know if it will. <laughs> Um, and I don't know if I use it. I think it's just going to be a decorative item. It was $14.99. Um, I think you can get a couple of different patterns in this, but I did love this one. It's got a raccoon, which is one of Fred's favourite animals, and a fox, which is my favourite animal, and an owl, um, all with their scarves and jumpers and Christmas hat on. I thought it was just super cute, woodland themed. Um, and I like the way the handle and the, and the, the wooden bits are on there. And yeah, I don't know if I'll use it, but yeah, it's super cute, isn't it? I couldn't, I did see it and then I didn't, I thought, oh no, it's a bit expensive just to be buying for the sake of it. But then I went back there and I saw it again and I thought, oh no, I really do like that. And that's what I've been trying to do, um, like not buy things straight away. See if you really like them the next time you go. But I know that's difficult in TK Maxx because the stuff disappears, doesn't it? And then I got another cup which is this Santa one, which I thought was really cute. I'm planning on taking this to work. I should have been using that this, that this week when I've actually had to be walking to and from work in the freezing cold. This is by the company um, Clementine. Um, it says it's from Los Angeles, California. Um, and these are, it's a double wall vacuum hot mug um, and it's insulated so it'll keep it cold or hot whichever one you're using it's got a plastic lid and there you can see that I haven't tested it out yet to see how good it is at keeping things hot or cold um, but I'll use it for both I think during the Christmas season but that pattern is so cute isn't it it's just like a brown on the background but then all the Santa Clauses are just um, really cute it's got a bit of holly this was 9.99 bit expensive um it's got one of them as well slidey things a bit expensive but everything's a little bit more expensive this year than what you would have paid previously i thought that was cute um so i did lie when i said i <laughs> i'd only bought one mug because technically this is a mug really isn't it and then this is the last thing i got this year um these are hanging Father Christmas bell. Um, he's got his little feet there that poke out uh, the, the ringer of the bell. And I thought he was really nice. It reminded me of something that we had when we were um, children. We had a similar Father Christmas bell to this, or a Father Christmas bell that went on the tree. Um, what's that in his hand? I think it's a star. I think he's got a little star or something in his hand. I think so anyway it could be anything really i thought he was really cute um, and he was only 2.99 i think 
think the decorations are quite reasonably priced in um, TK Maxx, to be honest. Um, some of the larger things are a bit more pricey, but I think the hanging decorations are not too bad for 2 dollars because they are all quite special. It's from a company called Gisela Graham um, from London. And yeah, he's really cute. The last item wasn't from TK Maxx, it's a bonus item. I can't remember if I showed you this, but I just got it out because um, I was getting my Christmas stuff all together. I got this from American Treasures last month. It didn't come in the mystery box, I, I bought it. And it's from Hobby Lobby. It says it was $15.99 um, and it's a table, table decor. So I'm planning on putting that on my Christmas table. You could get ones with little trees in. I didn't get that one because I planned on switching it up. I, I did buy some little pumpkins in corn. I was going to put them in there, but I forgot um, to have like a pumpkin filled truck. But I've got already got some of those little tiny bottle brush Christmas trees that I can pop in there if I like. And it reminded me of the one I got from Home Bargains last year. If you remember that big tin, it was a much bigger one. This is just a teeny tiny one for the table, but it was a much bigger truck. And this year they've got them again, but they're like all embellished with different things. I'm not sure if I like them. I do like the plain, you know, where it looks like a realistic truck that you might see carrying a Christmas tree. And that's another thing I need to get a Christmas tree because the one we've got, I think Fred paid quite a lot of money for it a couple of years ago, but it was a flocked one. I think it was something like, 200 pound reduced in the sale after christmas but we can't use it because it's got flock a lot of flock you know, the fake snow on it and i read an article last year where it said two little kittens had died because they'd fallen asleep um in the box of the flock tree and inhaled all of that stuff i guess so i'm like no i don't want to use that one now um so we yeah so we're debating whether to get a real one again this year i'm hoping we will because i enjoyed having that last year um if not i've got a pink one um we'll have to get another one i guess but i'm hoping i was hoping to go to the christmas tree farm um it's the same place where we went to the pumpkin patch this year and last year and they with the reindeer and they also do christmas trees at christmas but i need to check it out to see if that is actually going ahead and see what's going on. I've not seen anything about it yet, um, but I need to get a move on really um, to get a tree because I noticed all the neighbours have put theirs up this week. And then we've also got to do some outdoor decor because when we did the Halloween outdoor decor during Gemoween, we um, sort of set a bit of a precedent for ourselves. So I think we're going to make a little bit of an effort. So there'll be a haul coming up for outdoor christmas decor so you can see what i got we got that a little while ago from home bargains so i will show it try and show it to you sometime this week i hope you enjoyed this little haul video comment down below what do you like the best do you like the pastel gingerbread house um the little tea caddy i don't know what do you like the best take care thanks for watching hopefully i'll try and see you again tomorrow for another episode of vlogmas take care thanks for watching Bye bye